Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my Line of God's Daily Diary series. As usual, before I discuss what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to go ahead and read you a chapter from the Bible. Today, I will be continuing the book, The Lamentations of Jeremiah, chapter 5. Remember, O Lord, what is come upon us. Consider and behold our reproach. Our inheritance is turned to strangers, our houses to aliens. We are orphans and fatherless. Our mothers are as widows. We have drunken our water for money. Our wood is sold unto us. Our necks are under persecution. We labor and have no rest. We have given the hand to the Egyptians and to the Assyrians to be satisfied with bread. Our fathers have sinned and are not, and we have borne their iniquities. Servants have ruled over us. There is none that doth deliver us out of their hand. We get our bread with the peril of our lives because of the sword in the wilderness, of the wilderness. Our skin was black like an oven because of the terrible famine. They ravished the women in Zion and the maids in the cities of Judah. Princes are hanged up by their hand. The faces of elders were not honored. They took the young men to grind, and the children fell under the wood. The elders have ceased from the gate, the young men from their music. The joy of our heart is ceased. Our dance is turning into mourning. The crown is fallen from our head. Woe unto us that we have sinned. From this our heart is faint, for these things our eyes are dim. Because of the mountain of Zion, which is desolate, the foxes walk upon it. Thou, O Lord, remainest forever, thy throne from generation to generation. Wherefore dost thou forget us forever, and forsake us so long time? Turn thou us unto thee, O Lord, and we shall be turned. Renew our days as of old. But thou hast utterly rejected us. Thou art very wroth with us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. One of my favorite verses from this chapter is Lamentations 5, 5. Our necks are under persecution. We labor and have no rest. I thought that was a very you know, powerful verse. Um, next, I'll go ahead now and transition over to what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Dive video. Since yesterday's Daily Dive video, I worked my software developer job, and I have created this Daily Dive video for 2.27.24. With the remaining time in today's video, um, With the remaining time in this video, I would like to go ahead and discuss a, a recent um, shift in one of the in some of the goals that I've been focusing on. So you see, um, if you are uh, you know, either uh, you know, a, a viewer of my YouTube channel or one of my you know my descendants, you know, years down the line watching this random video in February of 2024. Um, you see a lot of different video games uh, playlists on my channel and that's because um, growing up I love video games during my formative years um, and that is one of the things that um, I you know one of the hobbies I went to in order you know you know where I found relaxation and enjoyment and so I you know I loved games like World of Warcraft um, Baldur's Gate Witcher God of War Mass Effect Halo to name a few and um, with um, with the uh, days uh, now, um, I actually recently um, unsubscribed from World of Warcraft. Uh, they had a season of Discovery. It was very good and very fun. And anyone who likes World of Warcraft will love season of Discovery. I unsubscribed from that, and I don't see myself playing any more video games um, going forward. I'm, maybe there's a chance I play um, like a game like games like Halo where you can um, 
jump in and jump out of the action, you know, spend an hour playing. But definitely never again um, will I be playing games like World of Warcraft, etc. And of course, I'm not thinking about like in the in the when in New Jer New Jerusalem at the end of Revelation when you could have like all day if you wanted to play games because it would be a completely different Earth, um, you know, new heaven and new Earth. Uh, but no, rather, you know, before that time, um, as a spirit of God, um, I felt that it was a duty of mine to give the absolute maximum um, to these uh, to the things that um, I feel will make me the best um, man and leader for my people. And so instead of playing World of Warcraft, um, emotionally, um, uh, I'm committing myself to uh, increase um, the physical uh, toolkit that I have. Um, you know, along with what I'm already doing. So basically, I read my Bible, I exercise in the, the workout series that I'm showing you, and that will continue. I also work my job as a software engineer, that will continue. Um, I wanted to start training uh, mixed martial arts because I felt that this would be um, a skill set that would be important for um, my descendants to. Um, understand in terms of um, being able to defend yourself and also disciplining your body. Um, it's obviously, of course, a very stereotypically masculine um, thing, like you know, wrestling or boxing or um, you know, mixed martial arts or something like that. They're very um, you know traditionally masculine qualities, like you think of you know, um, you know, like a Roman legionnaire or you know, a a, a Venetian. Uh, you know, a ship, uh, you know, a Venetian uh, Navy men or something. So all of those things um, seem um, that skill set of being able to um, maximize um, my body um, in terms of, um, you know, self-defense for myself and one day my family. Um, that's something I'm going to commit to now instead of playing video games. And it won't be uh, much time addition. Because of course, when you are like practicing shooting in wrestling or practicing kickboxing or boxing or whatever, I, I it's not like I can do jujitsu with anybody in my room. But what I can practice, I will, and that's obviously a lot more intense and uh, sweaty than sitting behind a desk playing World of Warcraft, for example. So it's not like I'll be doing that for hours, um, but I would like to do, you know. You know, 15 minutes, maybe three days a week, 30 minutes, 15, 30 minutes, three days a week. And over a period of 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, that will develop into, you know, much more than when I started. And I wanted to do that because I felt it would give me even another level of confidence, you know, going about in the world that I've trained my body to be ready for, um, you know, God forbid, any, um, you know, you know, you just walk, for example, you're going to a Walmart in Honolulu, you, you see some crazy dude running by you, just to be able to feel secure in defending myself um, that much, you know, that much more. So um, that's something I wanted to commit to um, because uh, it's just, like I said, it's, you know, to maximize that toolkit, um, maximize my potential and, um, you know, ultimately be the man and the leader for my people that I want to be. You know, I, I talk about, um, you know, yeah, that, that, well, that, well, well, I'll go ahead and uh, stop talking about that there. You know, in addition to that, I, you know, because like I mentioned, you can't, I'm not going to train that for hours a day because already with my job and my exercise and my Bible readings in combination with things like, you know, cl you know, cleaning my, my, cleaning my cat litter, giving my cats food, sweeping the floors, cooking, doing the dishes, taking out the trash doing laundry that's already like a bunch of stuff so with the other time that I have I'm going to continue to to watch movies watch sports and just increase my overall like understanding of culture so yeah and uh, with that I'll go ahead and end the daily drive video there for today I want to go ahead and say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed please like comment and subscribe as it greatly helps the channel like to be with you all. Take care and thanks again.